Well, hello guys. Um, wow, lots of big changes. I haven't really been playing this game uh, too much. Guild Wars 2 came out, and I pretty much uh, just started playing uh, playing it. But uh, a lot of things have been going on. Uh, oh, let's see if there's anything in here oh, coming up yet. Uh, big changes. Big changes. Well, this is something I did. I built a little. Uh, I don't remember what kind of call chest they call this now. Uh, but anyways. Basically, it's got this little talisman of repair. They're really easy to build, but what they do is anything with durability, like my little diamond pickaxe, put it in there, and you can see the numbers, the EMC value going up, and and uh, the numbers on the end of the uh, the uh, end of the actual item number going down. That that's it's repairing it, so it'll actually restore it to like new. So like my wrenches, anything that's got a dur durability, I just throw it in there. My flint and steel, throw him back in there. Um, so anyways, that's one thing that's, uh, new. Another thing, remember we had that giant volcano? Yeah, well, I had filled up these tanks here. There were about three of them. I got about two and a half of them full, and it ran out of lava. And so my geothermal generator, I had, uh, you know, I had a, uh, uh, an MFE bill, all this kind of stuff with powering everything, and then I ran out of lava, and it made me unhappy. So then what I did was I, um, if you remember, way over there, we had that uh, deposit, the, the, the oil spout. So I piped oil, and I mean I piped a bunch of oil. And then I started refining it. And then I made some combustion engines. Not sure I like combustion engines. They are fiddly, unbelievable. I think they're designed in such a way that they run out of uh, water. Um, I understand that if they do run out of water, they blow up. I, I had all sorts of really odd issues. Oh, let me turn. Let me get some lights down here. I don't want anything dropping down on my head right now. I didn't realize it was getting dark. Uh, actually, let's uh, let me go jump in the bed. We'll take a nap real quick, and then that way everything can come and go, and then I'll uh, pick it up, pick it up there with the combustion engines. Because I got to tell you, I really am not not sure I like them. They're 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 definitely powerful, and they do some neat things, but uh, not sure not so sure I like the risk of them blowing up. So let's uh, take a nap. Ah, oh, good morning. I woke up in the middle of the night and had to shut down my, uh, wanted to shut down those combustion engines, because the thing about the combustion engines is I, I they overheat if they run out of water, uh, and it seems like they're almost designed to do that. I, I don't know, but basically, um, the oil reserve in that one spout was absolutely unbelievable. It, it was just unreal. And we're going to go check this out because there was something else I found underneath. Uh, well, we're just going to go over there. Let's just let's just run over there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, see, I took down the pipe. I had the pipe running through here. It's all gone. Um... Here's remnants of that giant tree <laughs> that were up, you know, that was here that the spout was coming up through. This is what's left of that spout. I uh, climbed on top of the uh, uh, volcano. I was really disappointed. I, I was really hoping for more uh, uh, lava in that volcano. I didn't bring a shovel. How interesting. Oh well. But I did find something really, really cool here, though. This is the spout. And we set up a pump, and, uh, anyways, I ran it down, and, oh my gosh, look at what we found. This massive, massive chamber. I mean, you cannot believe this thing is just so huge. But then we've got the old mine, the, old, the abandoned mine here. The, that's where the, the pump went through originally, and what was amazing was, this entire, I'm mean, not the entire thing, but probably, you know, if you, you just huge area it was nothing but oil. And, uh, yeah, it, it pulled it all out. Um, uh, but yeah, look at this, look at this place here. I want to come back through here and, and, uh, steal all the railroad track. And there's, I mean, I kind of explored a little bit. You can see where I've 
kind of gone off a little ways in, in some of the directions, but a lot of resources. But I'm going to come in, and I'm going to get all the railroad track picked up. I picked up some of it. Um, yeah, I, I like to do, I'd like to do some stuff with the rails, and I think that'd be kind of cool. But, uh, so yeah, let's go back up. Yeah, see, this is, man, yeah, that was, it was big. So, anyways, so what do you do with the oil? Well, um, I was pretty much forced to, um, tank it all, and then I, uh, put a, Thing there keep me from falling down the hole but yeah I climbed to the top of the volcano and poured water down it to turn all the vol all the lava into uh, cobblestone I, I I was really disappointed in that 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 didn't last long at all um, was but I was unbelievably overwhelmed by the amount of oil that I got out of that one oil reserve out of that one oil spout it was just huge and then uh, so we um, piped it all over here. I stored it in these tanks. I kept, I, I, I wasn't sure how much I needed, so I just kept making really big, I mean, glass is cheap, so, you know, you just throw it in the condenser and just make a bunch. We made the portal, which, uh, you probably got that from the last episode where I lit, you know, kind of closed the episode with a, uh, kind of a teaser like I was going to go in there, but... Uh, so anyways, we converted, we, we got a, a, what do they call this, a refinery? Yeah, a little refinery. And we're running it on combustion engines. And we'll just turn them back on. Start making this. This pea-colored fuel goes up all this water waterproof transport pipe and dumps into this tank. And when I need, what I've been doing, I could just take it by a bucket. I mean, this stuff runs, see, like these, I've just been running, like I just take a bucket and dump it in there. Uh, but I could also, like, if I wanted to put a little extra fuel in one, you know, I can just tie it into the pipe and let it pump some in. Um, yeah, this quarry, though, uh, got some more to talk about it. This, this quarry finished, it hit bedrock, you can see the big black spot in the middle of the, uh, little map on the side. And so let's turn this one on. Oh, well... I'm learning about the combustion engines, and what I'm learning is I don't I don't know if I like them. Let's let's turn them on here. They are really fast, especially on the quarry. I mean, you watch this quarry. Where where where's that arm? Is it moving yet? Yeah. See, look, it's just. Oh, they're not warm yet. Okay. You see the see the spacing on these blocks. Once they once the, once these are warmed up and it's really moving quick. There, there's not a gap between them. They actually overlap each other. Matter of fact, they're already getting closer and closer. You can see they're tighter and tighter and tighter. I mean, it, literally, it's moving so fast. And I made this new quarry, I think, probably about as big as you can make them. I mean, I, I don't know. I just uh, I just made it really big. <laughs> I, you know, why not? Bigger is better. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I, I may try... I, I have an idea for doing something else. I may move. I, I, I don't know. I like to... I like to try someplace else. I like to just try different things, and that's partly what I'm make, making the video about. Was I, I? I don't know. Watching me play is kind of boring. I, I'm not a real entertaining kind of guy, so I was thinking, you know, I might just um, just do updates, you know, every once in a while, rather than just like a, a let's play. But now look at what we found down here. This, this you're gonna you're gonna love this. So go down to the bottom of the quarry. And you can already see there's uh, obsidian, lots of obsidian. It, it mined out huge quantities of obsidian, but look at this. Um, oh, hold on. Wrong button. There. Look at that. Another mine shaft. Another mine shaft. Another mine shaft. I've been kind of in both of them. Not really, uh, uh, not real in depth, but a little ways into them. I, I will go through and extract all the goods. I did find a couple of chests in them with some really weird items. I think there's more ladders somewhere around here. Where is the ladder? No ladder? What did I... Oh, I, I know what I did. I just jumped up here. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's... Look at all these resources in the sides. 
I went mining a little bit, so I've got that's how I was able to build a lot of the uh, stuff that I have now. So, um, oh, and that mine shaft actually cuts all the way through the quarry. So when this other quarry digs down deep enough, it'll find it too. Um, I did leave something kind of interesting. I, I don't know. I haven't decided really what I'm doing yet, but I think what I might do is I may just bring highlights of what's going on, um, and they might be more along the lines of, hey, we, we're going to build this, look what I built, and, and, and less with, uh, I better get out of here before I get, it's getting kind of deep now. Um, yeah, see, look at, look at the solid stack. Uh, see, they're actually overlapping. I had three, and that's the other thing, these combustion engines. We had, if you look at it, it's full of water right now. Okay, but I've got this one turned off. I couldn't tell it. I couldn't tell that it was actually making a difference in uh, production in the speed. So I just went ahead and turned it off because what it seems like is running. It seems like what they are is they're designed in such a way that when they start to get warm, they start to use the water up. And one pump with two um, redstone engines on it is not quite enough to keep the water in it. So eventually, it's sort of like if you leave it unmonitored, eventually they'll overheat. The other thing though is like, so if I put more redstone engines on the pump to make it run faster, somehow what it does is it eventually makes it, it'll drain this, which I don't even know if that's, I didn't know that was possible. I thought you pretty much, ugh, purple slime, come on, hold still. Um, come on, hello. There you are. Anyways, I, I literally, I, supposedly this will never empty, but uh, I had two of them empty. You know, I've got the one on this side, and I had the one on the other side, and I had four redstone engines running on it, and it emptied them. Get out of here, Yogi. Come on. Alright. Oh, I'm running. I'm getting hungry. Where's my... I need to cook some food. So, anyways... Let me go over here. Let me get one more. Come on. So, yeah, I like the geothermal. I do like the geothermal. It's a lot safer, I think. Um, I may start looking into solar. Um, the only thing is the solar panels are kind of pricey to build. But, well, then again, so are the uh, combustion engines. But um, I left this little patch of land above my... Uh, Uh, quarry. I thought that was kind of cute. I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I might build a floating island in the sky. Maybe a sort of like a wizard's tower or something. Something cool like that. But anyways, I just wanted to update everybody on this. Not that anybody's actually really watching or cares. But, uh, you know, this is where I'm at on the, on the, the Minecraft. I think what's going to happen next is, like I said, I think what I'm going to probably do is just do some update updates every once in a while. I want to get, uh, I still haven't made a, a, an honest trip into the nether. I went in there at the end of the last episode, just kind of a little teaser, because what I wanted to do was work on the uh, energy, get the glowstone for the energy collectors for my condenser and that kind of stuff. I may do that soon. That may be my next step, because I'd really like to, to kick this into overdrive and get some uh, EMC built up and what are they called? Uh, they call it dark matter or red matter? I don't know what. But any of some of that really fancy stuff where you start to build things like flying rings and really cool armor and that kind of stuff. But uh, anyways, the sun is setting, so that's been a whole day. Uh, until next time, uh, bye. <laughs>